I'm Vivian. I'm Anastasia, and uh, we're blondish, and we're at Dubspot, New York. Hello. Montreal through friends of ours and then we solidified our, our friendship at Pawn Shop in Miami during WMC back in 2008. At the um, Sunday School for Gen Generates party. I don't think it doesn't exist we're, anymore. We're but Generates definitely. <laughs> And then we got back to Montreal and we decided to do a party during the week. So we did one on Wednesdays called Blondish. And uh, eventually people actually just start, started calling us Blondish. We were just DJing in separate rooms and then we kind of, after even just two weeks of doing this party, we kind of migrated together. It just happened. Like <laughs> positive and negative rec electron. <laughs> years ago we moved to London and that's when we really kind of buckled down. It's just so, so many amazing influences that come from there. Every weekend you have 800 DJs that are just incredible that come through the city and, or even during the week so we got really inspired. But we got really lucky too I mean the way we met our managers. Uh, we had a friend in from New York actually and he was like let's go out and we're like no we can't go out we're just we're tired. So he came over we ordered some pizza and he came over with a friend. We're playing our new tracks that aren't signed yet. We didn't know who we were, we didn't know who he was. And like an hour, after an hour and a half of him asking questions, we're like, okay, like, something's up here. Like, what do you do? He's like, oh, well, I'm um, Guy Gerber, Piton, Fatboy Slim's manager. He named like 20 And he's artists. in our living room and we're like, oh. <laughs> That's <cool."> great. <laughs> so, you know, we really hit it off and he was like, well, I'm, you guys you know, seem like you're doing good stuff. You're working hard and let's, let's talk. I started DJing right out of university, like I went, I was at McGill for computer science, so I'm kind of naturally into this stuff. I was coding MP3 players, you know, like that was one of our projects, so. She's in her. I was, yeah, I've been always learning, but I was never like serious about it. I had a few releases, but it was not until we started producing together in London that we found our sound, you know? Like, and sometimes you need to search a long time for that, and we really found it there. We use a tractor. We don't use the time code or a controller. Well, we use the X1 for our loops, because we had all our cue points and everything set up in there. But when they came out with Advanced HID, they how Tractor and the CDJs can talk to each other. So since 4.10, the update for the CDJs, we've been using that. It's quite funny actually, because we were, we were opening up for Sasha in, uh, in Ibiza this summer. His tour manager saw what we were using, how, how well it worked, and now Sasha's using it. <laughs> Our heart is with Ableton. It just gets the flow going a lot quicker. A lot of times though, when we get to the mixing stage, we'll turn it over to Logic. You can throw a bunch of U80 plugins on it. To work on the bass, we'll use like the Brainworks. There's like a mono maker, and then really get in there with the bass, and then add some like tape saturation and stuff. It's a lot easier to, to get our ideas down with Ableton. It's so much faster. And I mean, we, I started learning Logic first, and then she's like, no, you should try Ableton. And I'm like, okay, so we, we started learning both at the same time, I guess. And was, they work really well together, I guess. I said we'll break up. <laughs> All 
like take a day sometimes and just, you know, listen to older music and kind of just really study the tracks and just see how they put together their arrangements. And then I'll go into the studio and kind of apply it. I learned myself. And through magazines, future music, future music. Tutorials on there are great as well. And, so are um, Dove Spots. Yeah, that's You're what we're gonna say. That Your was tutorial our main... on um, <laughs> this will be the last drum machine, no, drum rack you'll ever make. <laughs> that was a good one. That was one of my favorite Dove Spot videos. Yeah, well we know Mike Endo, DJ Endo, and he's he's always been a really big help as well. So whenever we have like we always questions, like, we we'll gossip BBM about him. Like the new versions coming out or what we actually a lot of times we speak about errors that happen in like the updates. It's really important, I think, for DJs to to give feedback to, you know, Pioneer or, or Native Instruments or, or whoever about the products that they're using because there's always going to be things that go wrong, glitches, and they need to know to, to be able to improve their products. So, yeah, so we've been really good at that, emailing all the time. Maybe they hate us, you know. <laughs> Some people look at it as a disadvantage because people are like, oh, they're just these girls, blah, blah, blah. But it's actually propelled us to work harder and focus more on our art and our music rather than what are we wearing tonight. And we have to prove ourselves to each individual person. Like, how many times, like, you get, oh, because just because our hair, the hair is a certain color, so we have to earn our respect big time. I hope that that will inspire. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> inspire <laughs> other women or Girls. Men, whoever, <laughs> that it, you know, it's it's just it's all should always be about the music. You just did what? <laughs> International <laughs> sign for DJ. <laughs> the wiki wiki wiki. <laughs> what do you mean? An iPod. 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 Oh, an iPod. Yes. Yeah. Two iPods. <laughs> wiki wiki. <laughs> one finger. Wiki wiki. <laughs> There's the way it is. <laughs> Come to <laughs> Dubs. <laughs> If they don't, if they don't know how to do this, they have to learn how. Yeah, sign up for Dubspot. She can't even say Dubspot. I was gonna say Dubspot. Spot. <laughs> Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.